Hi there. My name is Brad. I'm a pharmacy student here. Hi. How are you today? Good. How can I help you? I'm, I'm here because I, th I think I'm having a side effect to my medication. Right? And I wanted to find out uh, and talk to you about that. Okay. Um, let me pull up your profile here. Can I get your name? Yeah, it's uh, Keith Adams. Keith Adams. Okay, I see, I see I have that here. And just to confirm that uh, this is the right one, can you give me your date of birth, please? Yeah, it's January 14, 65. January 14, 65. Great, looks like I have the right information here. Now, you, you've mentioned you want to talk about um, the side effects. We'll have a, it's probably take us uh, about 10 minutes to go over that. Sure, is that that's, okay? That's totally fine. Okay, and is there anything else you'd like to d discuss today? No, just that's my main concern. Main concern, okay. All right, well, I'd like to get into talking about that, but I just have to make sure I get all the background information on you just to make sure that I can answer your questions appropriately, okay? Sure. Okay. So I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, your medical history, and um, do, you, do you have any medical conditions? Uh, yeah, I have uh, high cholesterol. Okay. Or medication for cholesterol. Mm -hmm. um, blood pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, diabetes and diabetes. Is that insulin dependent or non-insulin? No, it's just I'm um, taking, uh, I'm not taking insulin. Okay, and you said thyroid was the last yeah. one. Hypothyroid? Yeah. Do you have any allergies to medications or anything at all? No allergies. No allergies. Okay, and I see I have a list of medications here, so I just want to go over them quickly with you. Okay. Uh, you take Lipitor, 40 milligrams. Yes. Okay. And uh, Metformin, 500 milligrams. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mavic, uh, or Trandalopril. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. That's a 4 milligram tablet. Yeah. And Synthroid for the hypothyroid. Yeah. Okay, did I miss anything? Um, I, I also take an aspirin. Oh, aspirin, okay. Yeah, the do doctor told me to take an aspirin uh, for my heart. Okay. Is that the is that the baby aspirin yeah, the, the eighty one? Yeah, the low dose one. Okay. Do you have any? Do you take anything else that you could get from not a prescription other than the aspirin? No, that's it. So that's no herbals, vitamins. No, nothing. Over the counter, nothing like that. Okay. Did you talk about with your doctor about the reason for your aspirin? Yeah, he just he he told me, and I said okay. Okay. Basically, that's it. Okay, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about that. You, you have some history of diabetes, the hypothyroid, blood pressure. No cardiac problem or heart problems, do you? Like, per se, you've never had a heart attack, never had cardiovascular disease that you know of? Um, no, no. I, basically, it's because of my, my diabetes. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that does put you at a little bit of increased risk, so I can see where he's going there with that. All right. Now, a couple sensitive questions, just to get into um, uh, social history. Do you smoke at all? I uh, no, I don't. Or any tobacco products at all? No. Okay. And do you um, consume alcohol at all? I have uh, one or two drinks. One or two. At, uh, like at social gatherings or anything like that. So nothing in the excess or anything no. like that? No. Okay. How much exercise do you think you get? You know, just recently I, I started to... Uh, Increase my activity level, mm -hmm. right? So I've been walking a lot more within the last week or so. Good for you. You find that uh, helping with uh, your energy and everything else? Or? Oh yeah, like yeah. I, it was uh, before I was active, but it, now it's more of a scheduled, right? You know, workout, you know, scheduled uh, walk. Kind of yeah. Thing. So I schedule that in every day. That's great. I mean, it keeps you active and yeah, and, and, yeah really good job. Um, Thank you. Family history. It seems like you have a little bit of medical conditions. How about any people? I'm looking for siblings yeah. or your parents mainly. My, here. my my dad died from a heart attack when he was 66 years old. Dad, 66. Yeah, okay. But that's about it. Okay. Your your siblings are all pretty healthy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes of why you came in. Um, you're saying you're having some issues with. Yeah, I'm having a, a side effect. I'm uh, experiencing some uh, leg pain. Okay. Muscle pain okay. uh, in my right calf muscle. Right calf. And um, you know, I was on the internet and I was reading up on it, and it said it's a, a side effect to the medication. Okay. Right? And I was talking to some of my other friends and stuff, and they were saying, yeah, it's it's probably causing a lot of muscle damage. Okay. Right. And so I was quite concerned. About was there it. one medication in particular you're worried about? The cholesterol medication. Oh, okay. So the Lipitor then. Yeah. Okay. 
Tell me a little bit about more about this pain. You said it's in your right calf. Yeah. What does it feel like? Can you describe it's it? It's like a cramping. Cramp? Yeah. Uh, is it there right now? It is, yeah. yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst, how would you rate it? Well, it's about an 8. 8? Right wow. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it, sometimes by the end of the day, it, it's, I feel like it's just like a 10. Yeah. Now your walks, is that affecting your yeah. walks? Yeah. yeah, you really notice it then too. Hey. Well, that's not good. Um, I'm still walking and stopping, so I'm still trying to keep up. Mm -hmm. Do you find that um, anything makes it better? Uh, not really. It's, it kind of fluctuates, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but no, I haven't really seen or did anything to. Mm -hmm. And it seems like more like the exercise and moving around potentially makes it worse. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. But it's there right now, so that's not an issue. That's, okay. All right. Now, there is definitely some, some risks with this medication and causing things called myopathy or myalgias. Have you ever heard of anything like that? Yeah, yeah that's where I read. That's where you read, you know, yeah. Stuff. What do you know about that? Well, nothing much. And just that uh, taking this medication it's, uh, can cause uh, you know, muscle damage. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. and definitely don't want that. Absolutely. And and has your doctor mentioned anything to you about this before? He basically told me when I first started this medication just to watch out for it. Yeah. Um, but that's what So you haven't had a chance to go back and talk to him about it? I did do some lab tests um, oh, okay. recently, but I haven't uh, talked to him. He said everything looked fine. Okay. Well, I, I, do you mind if I look at your lab yeah, tests or stuff? Sure. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to have a quick peek here to see what we're looking at. Looks like your liver is doing really good. Um, kidney function seems to be good. And uh, the big one that we're really worried about with the muscle problems, yeah. it's called CK. It looks like it's in, in normal range too. When did you have this done? Last week. Or Last week. Weeks ago, I don't know. Okay. So I think that's a really good sign that we're not doing any current damage right now. Okay. Unfortunately, these medications can do this, and I yeah. think that we need to definitely watch it now that you're experiencing it. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any ideas? Is there any other traumatic event or anything else that you could think of that would be causing this? No. No, I've been doing, like, my, I've been taking medications as is. Mm -hmm. I haven't really, uh, I've been using the same, but nothing else. And your dose 40 milligrams is not... Huge, but it's up there. Okay, but it looks like we've been controlling your. Oh, good. Your your cholesterol is well controlled too, so that's everything's good that way. What I would recommend is, I think you you're gonna want to watch this definitely, and and just see if it's moving to other muscle groups. Okay. Like I said, it doesn't seem like it's causing a huge problem right now, but if this pain is not going away, we need to possibly look at um, some other avenues. Okay. We could potentially switch your medication down the road if it's still bothering you. Sometimes just going to a different, uh, same class of drug, but a different one can help. So we can look at that. We can also look at other other drugs, okay? Does that sound reasonable to you? Yeah, but the thing is I'm concerned that it's, uh, it's causing that permanent damage. Right, right? yeah. Right, right. So I'm and not sure what I should do about that. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're that concerned, I would suggest you go back and talk to your doctor. But like I said, from what it looks like on our labs, it, it looks pretty like we're not causing any significant damage here right now, okay? okay. So I, I wouldn't get too upset about it. Yeah. Um, have you tried taking anything uh, um, other than, well, aspirin you're taking for prevention, but what about any pain management? Uh, How about? No, I haven't actually. Okay, that's good. And so perhaps you could try maybe some, some Tylenol. Just some regular strength. We don't want to go too big right now because you are on some medications that we want to watch out for interactions, okay? Yeah. And just see how that works. And, and if you're really worried, I would suggest you go back and talk to your doctor about it. Maybe we can look at switching that medication for you, okay? Okay. So just to make sure I covered all my bases, do you, do you have any questions, first of all? Uh, no, I think I'll, I'll talk to my doctor and see what he says. Wonderful. Okay. I think the biggest thing here is... We're not doing any damage right now, so I think you can feel comfortable. Okay. And uh, maybe try something for the pain. Yeah. And um, watch out for other areas of, of pain to develop. But yeah, I think speaking to your doctor will make you feel good about it. Yeah, I think. Okay. I think I'll do that. It was very nice meeting you. Okay, thank you, Brian.
don't hesitate to come back if you have any more questions.